I'm Jane Gallagher, and I'm from Fox River Valley Pony Club. I'm Becca Wittenberg, and I'm part of the Fox River Valley Pony Club. I'm Colin Gallagher from Fox River Valley Pony Club. I am Katie Wittenberg, and I am part of the Fox River Valley Pony Club. Hi guys, today we're making a saddle for your briar. For this craft you'll need hot glue, a popsicle, cardboard, felt, craft foam, some velcro, scissors, and a bowl. Make sure it is plastic um, and not metal, otherwise it'll rust. To start this craft, you're gonna wanna take your bowl, fill it with water, and put the popsicle in. Then, soak it for 24 hours. You might wanna put something heavy on top of the popsicle so it won't float. Mine's been soaking for 24 hours. So now, bend it, and it should be pretty easy. And then, to hold it, take a cup and then press the popsicle into it and let that dry for at least 12 hours. Mine is all dry now, and this is what it looks like. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors. You won't need all of this popsicle. So I'm just gonna start by trimming off the edges. And the reason you don't trim it before you soak is because I really couldn't find anything that was small enough to hold that small of a popsicle stick and like mold it. So that's why I decided to wait. And so I'm trimming the edge and I'm making it circular so that it kind of looks more like the end of a real popsicle, though it's not working very well. Um, I will say that sometimes pliers, if you use the part that cut, sometimes those work nicely. Um, I just decided not to use those because sometimes my pliers are getting a little dull but sometimes they just don't cut. And so, now you have a curved seat. And so then what you're gonna do is you're going to take your felt now. And so I'm laying it out flat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it down and you're gonna wanna cut it so that if you look, you'll cut it so that it's um, so that it the felt starts at the tip, and I made this too small. But the felt starts at the tip of it, and it goes all the way across. So it'll be kind of like a like a straight line with like half of it taken out, kind of like curved, I guess. And so it should fit right along on both sides it should fit like this so now i'm going to cut out the other one so these are mine all cut out so as you can see there's kind of the little dip in it and so now what you're going to do is along the side of your saddle you're going to put some hot glue and then you're going to add your felt or fabric onto it uh, felt works best um, for this, but if you want to use other fabric, you might want to hem it maybe. Well, I guess since you're using hot glue, maybe you don't need to hem it. But I haven't used any other fabric besides felt. So now I'm going to put it on the other side. Mine is glued on. And so this is what it looks like. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut it out so that it's about that size. And then once you've done that on both sides and once you've glued that on, I covered the seat with felt too just to make it softer. But that's optional, you don't have to do that. So now mine's all done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hot glue gun and all that extra little space right there, you're gonna fill it up. Now what you're gonna want is you're gonna want your uh, 
felt down here, you're gonna want it to be pretty close. Um, you don't want it to be sticking up like that. You want it to be more like that because otherwise you'll have to use hot glue along the edge as well. And we really may as well just save the hot glue. So you're gonna wanna cut off the extra if you have any, cut it down. Make sure everything is still the same size. So you're gonna cut it down until it's like that so that it's not quite as thick. And then yeah, you're gonna fill up this bit with hole or you can put felt in there and then cover that. Um, yeah, but just get it covered. This is dry. And so this is what it looks like. So now it's pretty much flat. So now what you're gonna do is make sure you have enough felt, but you're going to put your saddle um, on your felt and then you're gonna cut out a circle. So you're gonna make it so that it's along the edge for about halfway. And then you're going to cut a circle on both sides. So I'd suggest cut it on one side. And then when you've done that, fold it over and then you can make it symmetrical. Just make sure you mark um, where the middle is so that you know that you're making it symmetrical. So then you would fold it in half and then you would cut it out like that and make it as circular as you can. So this is what mine looks like and I made it as symmetrical as I could. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hot glue and you're gonna glue it to the bottom. And then when you've done that, you're gonna get circles that are a bit bigger, not a whole lot bigger, but just bigger. So make it so that the big ones are perfect circles. These ones are more of like kind of circles, but like not fully circles. And so then when you've cut out the bigger circles, you're gonna glue them down here like that. Now, this is all done and this is what it looks like. As you can see, the bigger circle isn't that much bigger than the smaller one. So now we're gonna get the stirrups ready. And so I'm just gonna cut off a strip, one for each stirrup. I guess I did it the wrong way. It's better if you cut the cardboard so that most of it is like this and so that as you can see the cardboard kind of fell apart when I cut it like this um when I cut it like that um so yeah so it, it's better if you cut it like this and so make sure that they're both the same size and make sure that they fit your doll's feet um because I mean, if they don't fit, then they don't fit. So now you're going to cut your craft foam and you don't have to cut a very large piece. Um, and so then you're just gonna cut it to about the same size as your stirrup. And that's still a bit on the big side. And then I'm gonna cut that in half. And I'm going to hot glue it on so that it's like that. So this is what mine look like. They're uh, a little flexible at the top so it'll be able to fit your doll's foot um, if you make it big enough. So now we're gonna take some more of this craft foam. And now we're going to make the strap that holds the stirrup. And so this doesn't have to be super thick. And so you're gonna make two and you're gonna glue it on like that. I finished these. So now you're gonna glue them on to where they go on the saddle. So these are mine. 
Um, when you make the stirrups, you're gonna wanna test it out with your doll to make sure that they're not too short but not too long. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut a very long strip of craft foam. And this is going to be the girth that goes around the horse's belly. And so we're going to put that over here. And so you're gonna to wanna to measure it out around your horse. Um, and so then you're going to, when you glue it on, you glue one side on and one side is going to be longer and the other side is gonna be shorter. And you're gonna to wanna to make this girth um, a little bit bigger, maybe a quarter inch bigger than it would be to fit around the horse's belly snugly because when you cut it, you're going to take your Velcro and you're gonna put one piece on the bottom of the long part. And then when you glue on the other piece, like this, you're going to glue the other piece onto the top and just make sure that it fits around your horse with the Velcro before you glue it on. And there you have it, a saddle for your briar. Thanks for watching.